<gasps> I may or may not have had a minor meltdown because <laughs> my little greenhouse toppled over. Um, but right, right now I'm kind of working on like a DIY trellis sort of situation. I could use hog wire to make a trellis over. Um, that's where my green beans and my peas are planted, my watermelon and corn, but um, I didn't have any and I just want to make use of the material that we already have. We had extra chicken wire, so I'm just taking some ties and tying it down right now uh, and just shaping it so it looks a little better. So I was just tilling this soil. I just <clears throat> put down a whole bunch of flower seeds because that originally had some peppers in it from last year. Some of my tomatoes was in there, but I'm going to move all my fruits and vegetables over to the side of the house and just do all of this uh, a mixture of flowers and tell me why when I was tilling and just watering the soil I found this <laughs> I don't remember planting carrots but I must have at some point obviously so there must be maybe some more carrots hiding around in my soil um, here's the little top I didn't realize I just I found it on the ground with this in one spot and this in another so I must have picked it up with the rake and pulled it out not even realizing it so I'll keep my <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for more of these and know to pull them out for carrots. Also, I threw a bunch of potatoes in the soil. Probably like, it was still pretty it was still really cold outside, not thinking that they would do anything because I was like, oh I should have waited. But look, so these potatoes I have thrown out here waiting to start to spud, which they actually are, so they're gonna go into a container. We're gonna uh, grow our potatoes. Oh, why is there Hey, did you need another long screw? I just, just found one. Oh. Yes. Um, but look, these are potato leaves. That one's a squish potato, but those are potato leaves. So I'm going to carefully dig this hole. Oh, there's another one. I'm gonna hold, uh, dig this whole area up really carefully because I don't want to harvest them, but I do want to get them into a container. So I got another one. What the heck? So I got to. Uh, find a couple containers we're gonna go to Home Depot though so I might buy two of those like um, orange buckets we have one Sorry, the wind is going crazy today we have one orange bucket but I might buy two more so I can do two containers of potatoes I know they actually have like potato bags but I don't have it so we're gonna make do with what we have at our disposal this wind is Maybe before, okay, maybe before we put the fabric on. Yeah, not today. Or We're going to wait on the tarp. We're going to stake down at least, but it just took out. Okay. I may or may not have just come across another carrot. I was transporting some of my perennials. I see that. It could be nothing. It kind of looks like the thing before it. So before I try to dig it out. <laughs> <laughs> I must have planted carrots and completely forgot. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, oh, look, there's another one. Hold on. Okay, I don't want to lose that. Yeah, look. Uh, oh, shoot. Ah, where'd it go? Is it here? Is this it? Or is this a root? Nope, that's just a weed. Okay, so it's definitely... <gasps> I see one. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, I don't know if there's still like... Oh. I can't tell if that was one. Okay, there's definitely a couple <laughs> hiding in here. That's so funny. I... I didn't even realize I planted carrots. I must have done it like later in the season and just assumed they all didn't make it. That's the only thing I can think of. I can't find any more right now. If I do, <laughs> if I do, I'll let you know, but I don't know, babe. I'm going to be, it's too much to eat. 
Look at my harvested carrots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, you know. Do you see this? Yeah. I have got quite a bit of organizing to do. We just got back from Home Depot. I got a bunch of plants, which I put <laughs> here for now, but I got some, uh, this is parsley. I know I have mint. Uh, that's basil. Here's the mint. Uh, and I have two types of... Oh, I thought you were talking about meat. No, no. I have two types of tomatoes as well. And I also grabbed another strawberry plant. So I'm going to break up the strawberry plants into smaller plants uh, and, and spread them out. So I got some garden soil as well. Um, I am losing some of the daylight because we're out for a little bit. We had some errands to run, dinner to grab. I definitely took a couple hours to do all of that. But here is the tomatoes and herbs, my strawberry plant, which already is blooming some strawberries, but I'm actually gonna take those right off so we can get some more runners. Got some wood because we're redoing the deck. I got a big pot. I was talking about digging them up earlier, so I got a big pot for that, some more garden soil. I also ended up getting some more seeds. <laughs> so I planted my sunflowers, which I can't really see them right now. Planted my sunflowers in a spot. Hopefully the ones that were in the greenhouse that tipped over will survive. I replanted them, rewatered them. I don't know if it's true, but marigold is a natural pesticide. We're going to be planting those. So I got two types of marigold. Um, again, some sunflowers. I got both incredible sunflowers and uh, solar eclipse sunflowers. Um, I thought these were pretty. We're going to try those. And then again, I did have some of my herbs already, but I also got a rosemary, which I do not have already going, and some radishes, which is a great... Um, you can actually, I'm going to plant these all season because you can get like um, sporadic harvests out of radishes, but I don't know... Amazon on guys like what's in the neighborhood okay um so i'm gonna get like all my little cups again I, all i did was fill it with some garden soil put some seeds in um as far as my herbs go i decided on just doing this whole thing flowers so you see all these little tufts of green i had per perennials going in uh this bucket this bus bucket i took them all out and spread it all and I've also poured a bunch of like seeds. So hopefully this will start filling up very, very shortly with flowers. Uh, again, I showed you my potatoes back there by the wood that I have to dig up. These are the ones, actually most of them are sprouting. I might actually be able to just throw them in the bucket to get them started, but these are sprouting as well. Those are gonna go in the big black bucket I got. Um, all flowers i'll be we're putting the lattice back on we bought uh new boards just now to redo that as well as this corner because this is such a weird corner for the <clears throat> for the uh porch hi buddy <laughs> so we're actually gonna uh hi annie are you hungry my, my my battery is gonna die so this will probably be the last clip for today's vlog um but we're going to this is such a weird awkward corner i don't know why they did it like this but we're just gonna basically extend this so that it's just oh, so that it's just a corner uh, there. So all the painting and everything that I've been doing, I've been just doing like the fence because if I do the porch again right now, it could be torn apart and I have to redo it. So the painting is the fence. I've been planting. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't know if I should put my herbs with, and maybe I should put them with my vegetables. Well, you know what I'll do is I'll put my marigolds with my flowers. Or should I? I don't really know what to do, <laughs> to be honest. I think I'll put all my pesticides toward the um, vegetables and like food and stuff, not so much the plants. <laughs> 